Hi guys, welcome back to the roaming field and back to the bean crop section. We're going back in there again. I've been there with the Equinox last time, got the nail cleaner, strap end and the nice hammy. But very little else. Uh, surprisingly, oh, we did get the little Roman Mini Minis. But we've come back today with the CTX and the 6 inch coil. Hopefully just carry on the success we had last time. Uh, CTX loves this field. A uh, number of finds I've had over the years in there with it. So I'm going to give it a go. Blow the dust off it, it's not been used for about a year now. So. Let's give it a go. Well guys, come down the tracks. Amazing after a week how that's all dried out again. And the field's not been turned over as I thought it might have been, but can't, beggars can't be choosers. We've got this field uh, probably for a few more weeks yet. So let's uh, make the most of it. So I've got the CTX Super Blue headphones with a little six inch coil on the CTX. But I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a lot of swallows flying around the field. Must be about 50 or 60 of them. They're probably on their way south to Africa. Uh, but they're stopping over here for a little feast because there's lots of flies about. So let's uh, see what we can find out here. Well, this is an unusual signal for this field. Look at the size of that. Solid top right tone. So I'm expecting maybe a <coughs> bronze penny or a halfpenny or something like that, or a piece of bronze. Absolutely solid signal. I don't know if it's that deep. Doesn't sound it. I'll just do a few scrapes and see what happens to the signal. Oops, still there. Let's get the spade in. Don't think it's that deep. Oh, <laughs> look at the size of that. I see it now. It looks like a big valve. Water valve or something. What's that doing in the middle of the field? Ugh. Oh, it's a big tap. There's no water around here. <laughs> How'd that get here? Oh well, something different. On to the next one. Hi right, guys, the signal is high pitch there. That's iron. But then just next to it, you've got this low tone. Which could be a Roman. Look at that solid tone now. It come out of that hole there. It's about five, six inches down. Let's get that high pitch one out of the way. Oh, it's also in there as well. They're all together in that clump. So, what we got? <clears throat> Definitely mixed tone now. <coughs> Let's probe it and see what we got. <coughs> I can see something there. Hang on. Yeah, there's a little bronzy thing. That's a little gilt button. That's what that is. So must be a bit of iron down there as well. I'll just check that with it. Oh. <coughs> Coil itself. Yeah, that's just nulled out. So there's a bit of iron in there and that little button. So it just shows those mixed signals, you've got to dig them. Well, I'll just stop for a bite to eat, and you can see how rough the detecting is that we're in. We've got all this here, just ruts. And High ridges, low troughs, and bean crop was sown in amongst all this lot. So I'm not caught up with the landowner to see how he actually got on, but you can see how rough it is. So we'll uh, just have a banana and a coffee, then get going again. It's a predominantly a high tone, but with a squeak to it as well. I've got a sneaky suspicion it's going to be a bit of bronze or a bit of brass. So already. Uh, what's that? Looks like a brass ring or not my favourite tarpaulin rings, is it? And it is, look. 
We always get one on this farm, and there we go. Knew it was brass or bronze. That's our pollen ring, just like we love on this farm. At last, we got a Roman. Not too deep, a couple of inches down, but God, this is beating away this one. This is uh, an ultimate grot, by the looks of things. That's what happens when you get all the chemicals not on the coins. I said I'm scratching it, but I'm doing it with the rubber gloves. I've got that side. Like pillars, pillars with the two figures. On this side, somewhere like 280 to 320 as they normally are in here. They've got to tell it's a small head on it. Well, at last, a Roman. An hour to go, so let's see what else we can get. This was a little wispy one. Looks like we got another little Roman. Two in the bounce. That's not bad going. As usual, same as the last one, all eating away with the chemicals probably over the last 40, 50 years. That's the way they, they look now. But uh, hopefully there'll be a few others uh, into the golden hour and two Romans straight away. <laughs> well guys, halfway through the hunt, and that definitely wasn't in the plan, it's just started raining. I <laughs> guess he's not got his waterproofs with him. Ah oh, well, skin's watertight. But fortunately, up in the ridge here, the weather tends to go through the valley, which is out there. Only about five, six miles away. So hopefully it uh, stays there. We've just got a few drips on my head here. Everything's waterproof, including me. Well, as always happens on this field, you always get little patches of signals. Two Romans so far. <clears throat> Got another one, very similar tone. Here. Patch there. Definitely in the tone or range for the little Roman bronzes. In here. Oh. Tiny little stud. Just giving that signal. Not sure what that is really. Looks like a stud. A few little signals appearing around here, so I'll just keep ridding it. Well, we'd scramble around in all this muck and sludge down here, down by the, the spring pond, it absolutely stinks. I've never smelt this pond this bad, so I don't know what's been going on, but this tiny little coin I found. Very, very thin, so I don't think it's Roman. But I'm not sure what it is. It's got something on there, it looks like a small head. It could be a little Roman coin, but I've never seen them this thin before. Oh well, check that out when we get to the review. Yeah, drill. That'll make squeaky tone again. Here's a put me coil down, it's squeaking everywhere. Right this bit. Another bit of lead. All the last signals have been really. It's not too brilliant a signal now. Oh, 
just twist it. Thought I dropped it. Go up into the probe. Oh, got another little Roman, I think. Yeah, little Roman grotty. That's the third one now. Let's switch this off. This is drills just coming to annoy me. Got a few bit of detail on it. Well, don't need to dig for that one. It's stuck on the side there. Just little buttons sitting on the surface. Well, got another mixed up signal. I just knocked the top off the the ridge there, and it's vastly improved. It's locking on solid now, mid screen. Still down there. Hmm. A bit of a deep one. Third spade fell out. Quite a deep hole. Starting to sound a bit like lead. No, nope, it's not lead. What's that? Hmm. Interesting. Piece of bronze. I don't know what that might be off. Interesting shape though. I don't think it's Roman. It could be a key of some sort. It could be the ornate part of the handle. That could be the spike that goes in. Well, I'll have to investigate that one a bit further. That's a, certainly an interesting find and it's not lead. Well, this is a bit of rarity for in this field. The Victorian farthing. Like I said before, we don't normally get well, you know, modern coins like Victorian, Georgian sort of coins. This is one of the early ones. I can't quite make that out. But yeah, Victorian farthing. Would you believe it? Well, I think we got a part of a fibula, a little mini one. Last signal of the day, I think that's just the spring that's still in there. A little tiny fibula. That's a, a good end to the day. Bit of rolling to finish off with. I was almost there, uh, going to throw that away and then I turned it over and I saw this little ridgy bit here. I just thought, ah, oh, that looks like the spring of a little fibula. And it is. Get in. Right, definitely the last signal of the day. I'm off now. Catch you guys up with the review. Hi guys, welcome to review. God, that was hard work in that bean field. All the undergrowth, all the weeds and everything, it's like all wiry mesh all underneath the, the actual stalks. It's hard work and you struggle really trying to find some clear areas, but I didn't do too bad in the end. And then it's got this whacking great tap. What that doing in the middle of the field, I don't know. Uh, bits of brass and bits of wire, usual bits and pieces in the obligatory uh, tarpaulin ring. <laughs> you always get them on that farm. And then finds wise, uh, didn't do too bad today in the end. A little six inch coil worked its magic in amongst all the, the stalks and all the weeds and everything. About 14, 15 buttons. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, two, two bullets. A couple of buckles, a couple of uh, 
I think they are belt fitments. I'm not sure of the age of them either. I've got a couple of, one of them's got a nice little pattern on it. Bit of a spoon end, tiny little buckle, and this uh, strange, I thought it looks like a wing nut, but there's not actually a thread in it, so I don't know what that is. Strange thing. And then we get onto the finds bag, got one, two, three, four, five. I found one little Roman, which I forgot to put in the finds bags, so that's actually six uh, little find bags we got. We've got Roman coins in there, four Roman coins, what looks like a Roman key, and a little fibula we got at the end of the, the hunt there. Farthing, Victoria one, and this tiny little coin. I'm still not sure what this is. I thought Roman, but no, it's not. I don't think it's Roman. It's not thick enough. Um, so I'll have to get a, a real strong glass on that and see what it is. So overall, CTX and the six-inch coil really did the business in the field. It's. Uh, I'll be glad when that's all ploughed and go roll flat and get the bigger coil on it and get more coverage. But that little six-inch coil's done quite well in there. And. I don't think we'll go back in until it is rolled and ploughed, or ploughed and rolled even. <laughs> and it's a bit crazy at the moment. All the, the crops are still not in. It says we've got the wheat crop on there still. We've got the barley crop on the other fields. Vicarage Farm is nowhere near coming in. I had a word with a landowner there and he said it's been one of the worst years he's had for a long time for the crops because they were put in late, then we got the wet weather, then we got the drought through the summer. Uh, crops are uh, nowhere near at the moment. So... I think we might be looking for pastures new, so to speak. I think a well, little pasture. The landowner was saying that the bull's coming out of there. So we might give that a go next time out and see if we can find uh, any more places to go. So a, a quick hunt. Uh, now we're getting back into the swing of things. I said now this COVID's out the way, we can get back out again. Well, I'd say COVID's out the way, it's still out there. But we can, at least we can get back out hunting again and into all the fields and everything. The crops are slowly coming in. So... Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you very much for that. Uh, I know I've not been putting many videos up, but I'm starting to build them up again now, get out, out more hunts. And thank you to all my existing subscribers who stuck with me right through thick and thin there. And I need a haircut looking at this. <laughs> I think I'll get that done uh, during the week as well. So, it's your pal Mal. Happy ending to you all. You all stay safe out there. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.